there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an electronic table of contents in Kindle Create. Kindle Create is a free Amazon tool that you can use to import your manuscript to convert your file to upload on KDP for your ebook. You also have the ability to create a table of contents. This is separate than any table of contents that you have in your document. If you want to include any topics for an automatic table of contents for the reader to follow separate than the table of contents within your book, for any page that you would like to be included in the table of contents, you would click on that page. So for instance, if I wanted the title page included, I would click include in table of contents and then type what you want them to see in the table of contents for that page. Moving down, I could, if I wanted to, include the copyright page. I'll also include my introduction. And what you could do to save time is you can have these words typed in a separate document, like in Notepad, and then you can just copy and paste so you won't have to type each title for the table of contents here. So I'm continuing along building my table of contents and if you have not saved your file in Kindle Create, after some time it will prompt you. I have new two notifications here. One asking me would I like to convert and preserve links embedded in my book. So if you do have any links then you'll want to say yes to preserve those links. Also it's going to prompt you to save your work. So you want to click yes save. And if it's the first time you're saving your file, then it's going to prompt you with a file name and you want to change the folder if needed and then click save. Okay, so I have finished building my table of contents and any pages that you have checked to be included in the table of contents will have this little uh, triangle here, this little blue triangle. And then you can just, before you proceed, just maybe give a look on the different pages and make sure everything's spelled properly and that your table of contents is complete. And then when you're ready, you want to click export on the upper right to save your file and convert it for publication. From the save file for publication dialog box, it's going to prompt you with your file name with an extension of KPF. You want to leave that extension as is and click Save. At this point, your file is ready to be published. Now, when I say publish, I just mean export it from Kindle Create, not self-published on KDP, which will be in another video. It does prompt you that afterwards, you'll have to upload your KPF file on Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP to publish the ebook in the Kindle store. And it gives you some additional reference points to learn more. If you like, you can click show KPF folder and it will show you your file in your folder. Or if you're ready to continue, just click OK. Here's what the electronic table of contents would look like once your ebook is live in the Kindle library. The reader can select any topic on the left to jump to that section in their reading pane. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video.